Have you ever heard the term fast fashion? If not, allow me to explain a bit of what exactly it is. My name is Elias Hernandez, and today I'm going to be sharing what exactly fast fashion is and the impacts it has on our environment and society and the strategies we can use to reverse the effects. My goal is to answer the question, how can we implement strategies to create a more sustainable wardrobe, which will then impact the world on a larger scale? First, allow me to answer the question, what exactly is fast fashion and what problems accompany it? Fast fashion industry generates hundreds of billions of dollars per year, but it is one of the most unethical businesses in the world. The companies that dominate this industry are known to support the unethical ways of manufacturing these products and are criticized for the way they manipulate low-income countries. Through their exploitation of low-income countries, they can produce products at a very low cost and pay their workers alarmingly low wages. The fast fashion industry also heavily impacts the environment and is known to destroy our ecosystems. It is one of the most wasteful industries with millions of clothing ending up in our landfills every year. And due to the fast fashion culture promoting wearing something a few times and then throwing it out, it ultimately ends up filling up year and year. The problem of throwing out clothes can also be accredited to influencer culture. Influencer culture changes people's views on many different subjects. Some of these subjects include fashion, including fashion trends, which change at a rapid pace. And whenever a few influencers decide it is time for something new, most people follow what they do. These rapid changes in trends are what drive overproduction in fast fashion, allowing them to create more clothes and create more collections. Companies such as H&M and Forever 21 have been known to, to make around 15 to 20 collections per year. Other environmental problems that arise from the production of fast fashion are the waste of natural resources, such as water. Up to 10,000 gallons of water are used to produce one single cotton t-shirt. Eventually, from this cotton t-shirt, the water becomes contaminated with plastic microfibers, and these microfibers eventually reach our Earth's ocean, which eventually reach our sea life. Another issue that is prevalent in the fast fashion industry is the use of sweatshops. Sweatshops are workplaces where workers are paid very low wages to produce products for these fast fashion companies. Fast fashion companies here in America usually tend to use sweatshops in Asia, Central, and South America to get their products for cheap and not have to worry about working conditions due to the loose labor laws in the different countries they use. Due to the unsafe working conditions, workers in these countries are often left with long-term or permanent health conditions. Therefore, these points allow us to understand why fast fashion is a bad thing and it isn't ethical and it isn't something that society should support. Despite all these negative impacts, there are strategies we can implement to become more sustainable and create a better wardrobe that doesn't impact the environment negatively. Making a more sustainable wardrobe is essential to creating environmental change and impacting our society. There are many ways that society can achieve this, therefore allow me to introduce a few of the strategies we can implement to do this. One of the most impactful ways that we can create change is through buying secondhand clothing and thrifting. Buying secondhand clothing and thrifting has really become popularized throughout the last 10 years and has become a nice way to create a better wardrobe and also maintain environmental awareness. By buying secondhand, you deter the effects of fast fashion and do not contribute to the environmental and societal impacts. This means that there are no extra resources they use to create the garment and it wouldn't cause any other microfibers to enter our Earth's oceans. It also prevents the emission of greenhouse gases. By buying secondhand, clothing does not end up in a landfill which ends up being burned later. Another solution to this problem is to become more conscious about the brands we choose to support and beginning to support local or international brands that prioritize sustainability within their own companies and recognize the problems with fast fashion and how it negatively impacts our society. It is also important to support brands that choose to manufacture their garments in a safe and environmentally friendly way, set up in a way that harms society like through sweatshops. By doing this, you're ensuring that the human rights of an individual aren't being violated by supporting brands that don't use good working conditions. Lastly, to deter the effects of fast fashion, we as a society become more educated on these topics and help others learn about the negative impacts. Following these steps can help us build a more sustainable wardrobe that positively impacts our environment. Ultimately, it is the responsibility of everyone to do their part and stop the negative impacts of fast fashion. Without support, the fast fashion industry will continue to dominate and contribute massively to the damage we're doing to the earth. With the solutions provided, we can stop the impacts and create a more sustainable world. This will also contribute to the end of worker exploitation and help people around the world from being abused. I hope that through this talk, you have been able to understand the impacts of fast fashion and why creating a sustainable wardrobe is so important. 
Thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening.